Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you're good. Now, my summer holidays are almost over and I just need to do something fun today. I haven't planned any specific designs. I just want to play a bit with paint and my super magnets. They're incredibly strong. I wonder how many of you have seen my first magnetic pour that I did some time ago. And I just fancied another one, but with different colors today. I'm not going to be using any canvas today. I'm going to paint on this old board. I'd say five millimeters thick. It looks like 23 centimeters. I'm also going to be pretty minimalist with the colors today. Spreading only black at the background and quite a thin layer. Well, to be honest, if the magnets don't work too well, if I'm not happy with the design, I'm going to use a straw. There's always an option. I don't like giving up on my piece if I'm not happy with it. So let's get rid of the bubbles first. Well, first of all, the colors we are going to be using today. Gold, Mars Black. We've got Scarlet, Alizarin Crimson, different shades of red. So this is the consistency of the paint. I mixed one part of paint to three parts of Floetrol and then I just sprayed a bit of water to get this consistency. I hope you can see how it runs off the stick. See, like uninterrupted stream. I call it the runny honey. And there's a tiny buildup that disappears after one second. So let's just start with this one. That's a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful ladybug if I put more like this. I've got a different one. I've got a darker one as well. Spreading really quickly. Okay, how many do we want? Oh no, some more orange. Just playing with the paints now. Layering anywhere I like. Definitely want more of this deep red. Want this one to be the main color. I'm just considering gold now. I'm thinking, shall we add gold? Let's put them away. Okay, time for the magnet. I'm not going to attach another magnet underneath because they're so strong they wouldn't move at all. So I'm either going to use a knife or perhaps the end of this. So see how that works. I think I'm going to hold it here. Maybe a knife would be better. Okay, they are turning. Okay, what shall we do with this? So we've got the beginning done. And now I think, how can we make them look better now? I can use a stick to change some sections. But well, let's just see what I can do with a straw first. Can make some sections more defined. I can also add a bit of color here if I want to spread some gold. As you can see, gold creates some lacing, so that's quite pretty. Let's 
see how nicely you can make them bigger. There's one section I don't like, so what can we do? I'm just wondering how to separate them. So if I use a bit of black and just drag it here, that will make some separation. They look like some crazy orchids and I think I might leave them at the moment. And once they're dry, I can come back and embellish some sections. But I quite like the red dot here. There was a red dot here. So I think I'll just add a couple more and I'll make some dots on purpose in certain sections. I might find them useful later on. At the moment, let's just leave them. Well, this is dry now. But I have to be honest with you, and I always am in those tutorials. So there are times when well, I'm not really in love with the piece. And I have to sort of balance the options. Like pour over again. Mm, what can I do? And I do like sharing those processes with you because I'm sure it may help somebody. So this will be the time for some doodling. Uh, these are acrylic Posca pens and some other acrylic markers that I've got. And what I'll be doing now, I'll be just choosing certain sections and sort of enhancing the part I like, covering the part I don't like. I'm just going to listen to some music and play with my patterns. But all I'm trying to say is just don't give up straight away. You never know. I've got a few paintings that I didn't like at the beginning and then in the end I actually fell in love. One of them was was done with the magnets as well and now one of my favorite pieces. So you never know. Also, uh, online you can find plenty of lovely doodling patterns, zentangles, floral zentangles. You may want to actually draw some of them on your pour. I'm sure they will look beautiful. I'm just using my imagination. I've been going on and on. I forgot all about the time. It's so relaxing. I don't know if you ever tried zentangles or just doodling patterns. I've been listening to a podcast and just drawing and drawing and I've noticed I've deleted so much. I've deleted one. Well, you know what I mean? I've started changing the curly bits that looked a bit sort of maybe like petals into some leaves here. It's utterly relaxing if you like this kind of thing and I assume you like being an artist. Just checking what else can go and maybe I'll change some of these into leaves. I can I can get rid of the whole section. Look, I can if I think I don't like this part. I'm just going to turn it into a leaf instead of a of a petal. You can do whatever you wish. So that's the fun with pouring. If you think, well, why don't I just paint the flowers I want? But you will never get those organic shapes and the coloring and the mixing of colors like with the pouring acrylics. So you pour your background and then just have fun. See, I just wanted this part to be a leaf and that's what's going to happen now. So easy, so therapeutic. Those acrylic pens are so fantastic. Uh, there will be a link in the video description to whichever materials you're interested in. The problem is, if I keep going, there might be nothing left in the end. So perhaps I should leave it now and think of some little golden embellishments. I'm going to add some lines using pigment ink. It says bronze, but it does look gold to me on the the background so just going to enhance a few sections just a few final touches i think i'm done i'm just thinking perhaps adding a few those few golden dots would be a good idea and i think that's it now with this pattern we can go further we can depending on your computer skills but recently i've been doing some skillshare tutorials and i've learned how to incorporate my paintings, my pouring paintings, into creating some digital patterns. So perhaps I'll do this. This will be a really nice pattern for a cushion or maybe for even clothing, you know, nice evening dress. Don't know what your thoughts are. It would be awesome if you could tell me in the comments what you think. I know it's slightly different, but I just wanted to show you that we can start with pouring and we can sort of, we don't have to end there. We can 
go further. We can experiment, we can have lots of fun. Uh, before applying resin, I'm going to protect the back of my board using just a painter's tape. Just going to tape the edges. Now I'm trimming these bits. It does help to use a hairdryer to activate the tape. So I'm just going to blow now all around and press the tape down to make sure it doesn't come off. Now we are ready for resin. This is the resin I use for all of my art pieces, Mastercast by Eric Hem. It gives you a really nice dome and it's easy to use. It says one to one, that means one part of resin to one part of hardener. So I've decided to mix 40 milliliters of resin plus 40 milliliters of hardener. Remember to always use gloves when you're dealing with resin and I strongly recommend a respirator as well even though my resin is actually safe but I don't know which brand you are going to use so gloves and respirator and I'm mixing those two really well for around three four minutes make sure you always scrape the edges as well so they are well combined oh you see the bubbles once we apply the resin I'll just get rid of them using my torch. So, spreading carefully towards the edges. That should create a really nice dome. It's easier to do it on the board than on the canvas because the canvas tend to sag with the weight of resin. Just checking every corner, not corner, every edge. That's it. And now you will see how the bubbles disappear. You can see all the bubbles. You can see them really well now. So watch this. This is my torch, chef's torch. How amazing was that? Sorry, I'm just enjoying little things. So now I'll leave it for, let's say, 15 minutes and then come back and torch some stubborn bubbles if they still appear. Here it is, all resin. Look at the lovely edges and the gold. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish it off. Of course it can go on the wall just like this. Let's make it a bit different this time. Because it's a box frame, it's going to be higher. This is just a mock-up because I'll have to glue it of course, but the moment just showing you hey and that's the frame and now let's take a look at the finished piece I think it's really nicely presented beautiful shimmer okay well i hope you enjoyed the video if you did it would be really awesome if you could press like and comment your thoughts it really does help the algorithm so i'm really really grateful if you do thank you so much well thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join me every saturday when my new videos premiere and then we can chat live and we have lots of fun thank you so much bye bye